Peter Haddock and I'm here today at the Devlon Quarry Days and Demo Days with Stefan Dewey. Stefan, we've met each other a long time ago and talked about lots of different machines, but we're reaching new heights today, Stefan, because what have we got next to us here? One of your biggest sellers for demolition, what is it? Yes, this is a DX245DM. Uh, this is the base machine from the DX245NHD. This is a narrow machine. So really ideal for transforming this machine into a demolition machine. And so the good thing about this being a smaller machine is actually when you've got to take this to the job site, isn't it? So yeah. transportation is a lot simpler with this machine. It, but the reach, what reach do we have right here above us? Yeah. So the, the, the main uh, benefit of this machine will be first, as you said, the transportation, because you could see that we have an hydraulic undercarriage and we could close it to, to 2.5 meters. Right. So it means no authorization to cross uh, the highway and everything. So this is one of the best uh, benefits for the customer. But also, you could see the reach. So it with, is quite high. How, yes. how far have we got up there? <laughs> so with that machine, to pin the arm, we go to 18 meters. Right, OK. okay. With the two-ton tools, yep. of course, you will not work at 18 meters. But you will work around 16 meters. I will say this will be a building of five stairs. Right, five stories high, yeah, mm -hmm. okay, fantastic. So as we come around here, obviously we've got, like you said here, narrow tracks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. But tell us a little bit about the, the setup of the tracks as well. What's well, really important, isn't it? But that you've got that stability for demolition. Voila, exactly. So the, the important of this machine is with, that we have, we have almost a square stability because right. it's really uh, wide, but as you know, a demolition machine mainly work only online, but we never know what could happen. So it's important to have good stability anyway. Yeah, and that can be changed uh, as we go forward. Inside here, yeah. So what do we, we have? So we have the main hydraulic pump from the standard machine. So modif no modification here. Right. Mm -hmm. So that actually can deal with all the hydraulic needs for yeah. the demolition. Strategy. Yes, of course, of okay, course. Right. Because uh, uh, a demolition machine will not work like an earth moving. So the cycle time are much more, uh, I will say, smaller, uh, how to say, uh, slow, uh, lower, lower. Yeah. So we have uh, plenty of flow for, for, for that machine. So folks, as we take this back in, mm -hmm. I notice we've got something that's not even the machine behind us. What have we got here? Yes, we have the stand because this machine, we provide this machine with two booms. Yep. So we have the digging boom, the classic digging boom, and we have the high ridge demolition boom. And if you have a look here, you right. could see yep. we have two hydraulic cylinders. So from inside, I will be able to open my boom, my coupling, after I, I have some... Uh, uh, manual uh, quick coupler to remove yep. and in about 30 minutes I will change my boom from digging boom to high ridge demolition boom. Fantastic so you literally got a versatile machine there yeah. so if you're doing demolition then clean up or if you've got this machine that needs to do other standardized yeah. work mm -hmm. then you've got almost a two-in-one haven't yeah. you? Exactly it's exactly that two-in-one because you, you you know well demolition job site I will put my building down, but yeah. after I have to clean. So exactly, I will yeah. not clean with this schematic. So I will remove this arm, put the new arm, the digging arm, and I will be able to load the truck or to load the crusher to, to clean the space after the job. Most importantly though, folks, as we come around here, is the fact that, like any machine, come and join me here. Mm -hmm. Really important when you're looking in a demolition spec or a, any spec is visibility. You've got this camera at the back there, comes the standards, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. On, on this machine, you could have the rear and side camera or you could have even the 360 degrees camera. Right. So, yes, important. important. For the job, specifically for the job site, some of them can be quite tight on demolition space. As we come round again, folks. What have we got the setup here then, Stefan? I will say nothing more than the standard machine. Here you could find all our coolers. Here we could find all our uh, pilot uh, line. Nothing uh, modified here. Right, fantastic. But there is something modified right here, folks, mm -hmm. because this isn't a standard cab. Is yeah, it? yeah. A slight different 
angle yeah. there. Tell us a little bit about it. So for every demolition machine, of course, we will modify the cabin. So you need to have f around 30 degrees to have comfortable view because you need to watch at the top. Yeah. So of course, with a normal cabin, you will not work like that all day. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, with demolition, the rocks and fox, really important yeah. to protect the operator inside the cab as well, isn't it? So mm -hmm. Something a little bit new, reaching some new heights, but also knocking some old stuff down. Great to see you again. Okay, thank Cheers. you, Peter. Okay, thank you.